While most fitness devices can tell you how long you've been running, how far you've been running, and how many calories you've burned, they don't really give you any feedback on how well you're running. That's where the Sensoria fits in. The Sensoria is a sock with embedded sensors on the inside and an anklet that syncs to your smartphone. So right now, the sock looks just like an ordinary sock, but on the inside, there are sensors on my heel and on the balls of my feet right here. And when I press down on them, the anklet kind of gathers information about how I'm putting pressure on my foot. The Sensoria will be able to sync with your iOS or Android device through an app. And after you're finished with your workout, you can sync it just like you would with any other fitness device, and we'll give you feedback. Or if you have your phone with you while you're running or working out, you can get real-time data and updates. So this is a prototype of the actual app. Uh, in terms of design, this isn't what it's going to look like, but it does show you the technology that will be in it. So uh, this is a visual of my foot, and as you can see with the way I'm, like, as I move my foot, the different uh, parts on the image light up. That's where the sensors are. And right now it's telling you that I'm leaning on my heel, which is why that's red. And as I move towards the balls of my feet, they also change color. So this is going to be really useful for runners because they can tell uh, how they're landing and how they're running and if they're putting more pressure on one part of the foot rather than the other. So it really does give feedback that other fitness devices uh, don't give at the moment. So we just looked at the app on an Android phone, but in the future it's going to be available on iOS, Android, and Windows phone. So this is what the actual anklet is probably going to look like. As you can see, it's a lot um, thinner and, and a bit less clunky and lighter than the actual uh, prototype that you've seen. And this is also going to be available in a range of colors. And eventually, um, this isn't going to be available on launch, but eventually the app will support um, the, the wearer wearing two of these at once so you can measure both feet at the same time. And now we're going to take a look at the app. Um, as you can see, the same foot visual is still there, but this is a different design. And along the bottom here, you can see the different information that uh, the app gives you, pace, steps, cadence, calories, BPM, uh, stride, and uh, you know, other information. And then if we look at the settings menu over here, um, you can just see how well you can customize the kind of feedback that you get. So if you, you, there's a virtual coach in here. So you can have the coach cheer for you when you do well, um, adjust the voice volume, and a, a bunch of other things in here. Um, and that's basically an overview of the app. This, um, it also can locate you and give you a view of where you are as you're running. So this is what the app is likely to look at upon launch. Um, the kit itself is going to come with a pair of socks and an anklet. And uh, there's no set price for that just yet. But an estimated price right now is 150 That's what uh, you would pay right now if you pre-order the device on Sensoria's website. So there's no official release date for the mass consumer launch just yet, but it will be available for all consumers in uh, 2014. If you pre-order the device today through uh, Sensoria's website, you will get the device by uh, March 2014. So we didn't have too much time with the Sensoria, but from what we could tell, um, the sock felt very lightweight. We couldn't even tell that there were sensors in it. It doesn't feel any different from your average sock. And also, even though the prototype of the anklet that we were wearing was thicker than uh, what the final build will look like, um, it really didn't, didn't feel clunky at all. So uh, once again, this was a brief look at the Sensoria. And I'm Lisa Edichigo for LaptopMag.com.